Yes, can you hear me? Can you go? Hello. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I did not um, actually. I had. I was not sitting in front of the uh, glass. I was in front of the iPad, so I did not know that you started. You can hear me. Yeah. Uh, sorry for the wait. I think we did. Uh... 1.2, only second one we finished. No, now uh, third one is not there. Fourth one. Okay. I hope you remember BPT, Basic Proportionality Theorem. What basic proportionality theorem says? Uh, did you practice the theorem? No. No. Why? Uh, today itself. Today itself, this theorem you have to write it three times and send it to me. Okay. Today itself, before, after the class, immediately start writing it three times and send it to me. Okay. You have to end at what time? Hmm. What? The class will end. Five. The class will end five. at what time? Five. Five. Okay, so before my five fifteen class, I'll write and I'll send it to you. Five fifteen. That is class. possible for me. No, okay. that is possible for me. Okay. So today itself, this theorem is very very important. Write it three times. See that it is memorized also. Okay. So what this theorem says? This theorem says that if line PQ is parallel to BC, then AP upon PB is equal to AQ upon QC. Okay, basic proportionality theorem. And then the converse says that if AP upon PB is equal to AQ upon QC, that means if their sides are in proportion, then this line PQ is parallel to the third side. So based on this, we did one example sum and the first sum uh, or one sum of the exercise uh, 6.2, uh, sorry, 1.2 we did. So let's do the fourth one. Fourth one says measure of some angles in the figure are given below. And you have to prove that AP upon PB is equal to AQ upon QC. You have to prove this. 
can you give me one minute yeah what happened no i will just have to go and get my books yeah yeah oh how could we sit without your books yeah get it go no actually i was cleaning something because uh, something was spilled so then uh, i forgot to get my book okay get it get it first yeah okay so in this question uh measure of angles are given so if you look at the diagram this angle p a p q is given 60 degree and angle a b c is also given 60 degree you have to prove that a p upon p b is equal to a q upon q c so let's start with the solution angle a P Q is equal to 60 degree. This is given. Also angle A B C is 60 degree. This is also given. Okay, these are the two things given. Angle A P Q 60 degree, angle A B C 60 degree. Now uh, if you see angle A P Q and angle a b c these two are corresponding angles correct they are two corresponding yes. angles and these corresponding angles are equal to each other angle a p q equal to angle a b c now when two corresponding angles are equal, the lines between them will be parallel to each other. Okay, so that is by corresponding angle test. Okay, corresponding angle test, what it says that if corresponding angles are equal to each other, okay, corresponding angles, if they are equal to each other, then the lines between them are parallel. You see, this is a corresponding angle and this is a corresponding angle. And both of them are equal to each other. So the line PQ will be parallel to BC. That is because of the corresponding angle test. So you can say that line PQ is parallel to BC. Did you understand up to here? Yes. Now, since the lines are parallel to each other, you can use basic proportionality theorem. The basic proportionality theorem says that the sides will be in proportion. That means you can say that AP upon PP will be equal to AQ upon QC. I can't see you speaking. Yeah, can you hear me now? Oh, your voice is really very faint. Can you try speaking? Yes. Now? 
Can you hear me now? Can you hear? I'm not speaking. I... Can you speak? Yeah, I am. Hello. Wait, wait, wait. I think there's some problem. Wait. Your screen, I can't see your screen. Yeah, I stopped oh, I the screen. Now. I stopped the screen share. No, I can see Jerry Fernandez's screen sharing. We started screen sharing. No, I have stopped it. You can hear me now? Yes, I can hear you, but I can see your screen also. But actually, I cannot see. I can only see uh, it is written in, uh, like, the background is black. And in white, it is written, Jerry Fernandez has started to screen share. Okay, how about now? Visible now? Oh, no, it's still showing me Jerry Fernandez has started screen share. I can't see your screen share. You can see me? Yes, I can see you. I can hear you. Okay. Wait, I'll stop and start again. Okay, now? Can you see the screen now? Hello, can you stop screen sharing, please? Can I stop it? Can you okay. start? I have started the screen share. I don't know why you can't see. I've started the screen share. You can't see still. Yes. Now. No, I didn't hear. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes, I started the screen. Yeah, share. I can see your screen share. Can you keep your video on? Actually, I'm sitting in a room full of guests. So that is why I will have to shift if you give me okay. some time to shift. Yeah, yeah. You you shift till then. There I just many, shift. many people at my house. So that is why. Okay. I hope you can concentrate. Yeah, hello. Yes. Okay, now I'm in my room, so there's nobody here. Yeah, you can ask. Only there's a lot of voice here. If you can hear people talking like from different, different okay. rooms, then just it's tell okay. me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can you see the sum? I'll explain the sum yeah. once again. So in this question, One second, I will... No? Yeah. तू जाता ना दरवाजा बंद कर Yes should i start yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so in in this i now you can't hear anybody right this is no. only your me right yeah 
So in this angle APQ is 60 degree given in the question, angle ABC also 60 degree given in the question. Now, if you clearly look at the diagram, angle APQ and angle ABC, both of them are corresponding angles. And we have a corresponding angle test that says if the corresponding angles are equal to each other, then the lines between them are parallel to each other. That means line PQ will be parallel to BC. Now, since PQ is parallel to BC, you can directly use the basic proportionality theorem. You can say that by BPT, basic proportionality theorem, the sides will be in proportion. That means AP upon PB will be equal to AQ upon QC. So we'll write here AP upon PB equal to AQ upon QC. And this is what you had to prove. And hence, finally, you can say that hence proved. Is this sum clear? Write it down. Have you understood the sum? Yeah. So have you understood this sum? Yeah, I'll write it down. Yeah, go through it, write it down. Let me know once you finish.
Done. Okay, now directly we have the tenth sum. Okay, that's the tenth sum is the activity. So let's discuss the activity and fill in the boxes accordingly. So I'll just take the activity question. Okay, so in this question, uh, in the given figure, x is the x is any point or in the interior of the triangle point x is joined to a vertices of a triangle okay so point x if you see it is joined to the vertices of both the two triangles segment pq is parallel to de pr is uh, qr is parallel to ef and PR is parallel to DF. This is the options given to uh, This is given to you in the question. You have to complete the activity. Now, if you look in triangle XDE, that is this triangle here. Okay, I'll rotate it so you'll have understanding. Okay, so if you look at this triangle. I'll highlight it so that you may look at so this. Now this is P, this is X, this is Q, this is D, and this is E. PQ is parallel to DE. This is given to you in the question. Now by basic proportionality theorem, XP upon dash equal to dash upon QE. Can you tell me what to write here? PD. Yes. yes, PD here. And what about and, here? Uh, Q and XQ. XQ here. So that became the first thing. So I'll erase this now. Now look into triangle XEF. Now XEF is the below one. This one. Okay, X E F. Again, Q R is parallel to E F. This is given in the question. So, since it is parallel, you have to use basic proportionality theorem. So here, by BPT, basic proportionality theorem, what will happen? Can you tell me? Yes. By basic uh, proportion. Uh, XQ upon QE and XR upon RS. XR upon RS. Okay. So this is equation number one. This is equation number two. Now, XQ upon QE is equal to XP upon PD. And here, XQ upon QE is equal to XR upon RS. So, this two is equal to each other, XQ upon, upon QE. So, these two will be equal to each other. That means XP upon PD will be equal to XR upon RS. Did you understand this, this step? Yes, yes or no? Okay. Yes. So since XP upon PD, now if you look into your diagram, XP upon PD, that means this, this triangle here. Okay, I'll highlight it. This one. It might have took it's not given. The diagram is there. This is no, no, the, that, the, that thing is not given about the third the diagram. The third diagram is not given. 
third diagram there is just one diagram the third uh, no no not the diagram the third explanation and the boxes and all of that is the third is not given it's already written it's not given only how come like that how much is like this is all that is given right yes so yes, that is what I'm saying. Sure. That uh, what you will write about the third one is not given. Show me. Show me. It's given no, from one and two. See? From one and two. Not the third and the fourth. Like the third explanation which you will write, that is not given. This by BPT. No, no. Wait, I'll tell you. This. Hello. Ha, we should go there. Okay. From one and two. No, no, no. Here you pick up here. No, no, no. Here you pick up here. Okay. Okay, fine. So, X P upon P. First triangle was given, right? First triangle, hmm. basic proportionality theorem. The second one also was given. The third one is not given. Third triangle, no, no, no. Third triangle, we are not concerned about that. From equation one and two, we are getting this. X P upon P D equal to X R upon R S. Okay. So that I'm showing you in the diagram where it is. So this XP upon XP upon PD is this is equal to XR upon RS. So that means you're talking about this triangle. Okay. Now since the sides are in X, yeah, X, XR upon R. पी डी so these two sides are in proportion since these two sides in it are in proportion by converse of bpt pr should be parallel to de ha ah, yes f sorry f there also f here also f f yeah i made a mistake instead of s it had to be f clear now any doubts Yes. Understood. Okay. Have you written it? Yes. Okay. So I think that was the last eleventh sum is also not there in this. So now we can start the concept of similar triangles. Okay. So let's understand what is similar triangles. Now, if you see, these two triangles are said to be similar. Ah, volume, volume is must, task is must, and comment me dalu ki ye date ka itna time hoga. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, one minute. Okay. Ha ha. Hello. Yes, yes, one minute. I'm ah. just taking the diagram. Okay. Now these two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle uh, DEF. Now two triangles will be similar to each other if they have the same shape. Okay. 
Now, if you see this triangle, this triangle, if you take it out and if you put it on this triangle, and if you increase the size, mm. yeah. it will exactly fit on one top of the other. Okay. So yeah. similar figures or similar triangles are those triangles which have the same mm. shape, not same length. If the length is the same, then we call it congruent triangles. But if the shape is the same, and by shape being same means a simple technique for the shapes to be same is if you take it and put it on top of this and just increase the size, it will exactly fit on one on top of the other. Okay, that means that is the meaning of same shape. So if two triangles have the same shape, then they are similar to each other. Have you understood the got a concept of similarity? Similarity, why they are similar? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now to check whether they are similar or not, you have certain criteria. Okay, or certain conditions to check whether two triangles are similar or not. So under that, the first criteria is called as the AAA test of similarity. Or in simple words, angle, angle, angle test of similarity. Now, when will two triangles be similar by this test? If all the three corresponding angles, that means if angle A is equal, if angle A is congruent to angle P, angle B is congruent to angle Q, okay, angle B congruent to angle Q, and angle C congruent to angle R, okay? If three, all three angles, are congruent to each other, then you can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR by angle angle test of similarity, triple angle, AA test of similarity. Have you understood this? Yes. Can you keep your video on only? And mute and say something. Have you understood this? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Can you say something? Yes, but you can unmute yourself. No? Okay. Write down this in your notebook. Hello? Write down this in your notebook. AA test for similarity. Yeah. So for AA test of similarity, all okay. three angles should be same. Okay, this you can put as a note. All three angles should be same. Yeah. So this is the first test. Write it fast, then we'll move on to the re remaining two tests also. And we can finish this chapter today. Yeah. Can you? Can I what? Can you hear me? Yes.
Don. Okay. Second test is AA test for similarity. Now. Are you on mute? What? Unmute and speak. Yeah, I'm unmute. Okay, now I can hear you. So AA test for similarity. It is now AA and triple A are the same thing. Okay, it's just that in triple A, what it says that all three angles should be same, but in AA test for similarity, even if you show that any two angles are congruent to each other, it is enough to say that they are similar. Okay. So suppose in this two triangle, I'll I name have a this. Question. In the yes. earlier one, there was A A A with no space. Here, why there is space between two A's? No, is it no. like different uh, no, no, meanings no. or something? No, 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 no. It's the same thing. You put a space okay. or you don't put space. That makes no difference. Okay. Now in this this test, what what says that if you manage to show that any two angles of these triangles are equal to each other, then both of them will be similar. Like for example, if you yes. show that A is congruent to P, angle A is congruent to angle P, and B is congruent to What is the to sign for congruency? B is... What is the sign for congruency? This is the sign for congruency. This one. So angle B is congruent okay. to any two angles, if you manage to show that they are congruent to each other, you can say that the triangles, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR by AA test of similarity. Okay, so here any two angles is enough. Showing any two angles are equal or congruent to each other is enough to show that the triangles are similar. So if you manage to prove two angles are similar, two angles are congruent, both the triangles will be similar to each other by AA test of similarity. Is this clear? Second criteria. Yeah. Write it down fast so we can move on to the third one. There is a lot of disturbance behind you. Okay, one. What is it? Or is it do I have it? What? What? Or is it that do I have the disturbance? No, I don't know that. Is there any disturbance on my side? No. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Third test is SAS test of similarity. Um, I know this side angle side. Yes, side angle. Many, right? Uh, One yeah. more. And SS also I know. Yeah. So in side angle no side. Need to show, no, no need to show. I know all of this. Okay, so and in just, the school also they taught us, so I guess I don't. So if you manage to prove one side, 
one angle, one angle and, another, and side. another side. Then you can say that the two triangles are similar to each other by SAS test. One thing to note, very important thing to note that the angle has to be between those two sides. Okay, then only you can say it is similar by SAS test. Yes. Okay, the angle which you prove has to be in the middle of both the sides. Then you can say that these two triangles are similar to each other by uh, SAS test. Okay, and the sides should yes. be in pro proportion. Okay, sides have to be in proportion. Sides should not be equal to each other because we are checking similarity. We are not checking congruency. So, KL upon one minute. KL upon RS. If you find out this, KL Hello. is 1. Yes, RS is 1.5. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you in the middle. I could not. That is why I said hello. Yeah. So 1 upon 1.5 is nothing but 10 upon 15. And if you reduce this, this becomes 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15, 2 upon 3. And if you find out LM upon HT, okay, LM upon ST, LM is 2, ST is 3. Okay, so you see these two ratios, KL upon RS and LM upon ST are equal to each other. Okay, so these two sides should be in proportion and the angle between them should be equal to each other. Angle L should be equal or congruent to angle S. Okay, if you manage to show this, two sides are in proportion and one angle is equal and that angle is between those two sides, you can say that the two triangles K, L, M is similar to triangle R, S, T by side angle, side test of similarity. Did you understand this? Clear now? Yes. Okay. Note that the sides should be in proportion, not equal. Fine? Yes. Okay. Now we'll go to the last yes. one, triple S test. So triple side, side, side test. What you have to do in this, all three sides should be in proportion. Okay. In this, all three sides should be in proportion. So here, uh, if you see one, this triangle is just a little bit inverted. Can you unmute? My voice is really, very slow. It's like really, really, uh, can, hello? Yes, now? Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay. Earlier I could not, like, almost not hear you only. Okay. This one will have to change, right? Have to what? Change? Yes, this one will have to, like, huh? Yeah, you'll have to revert. Yes. So this is P, Q, and R. So in triple S test, what not? Three sides should be in proportion. So RQ upon XY should be equal to QP upon YZ that equal to RP upon XZ. Okay, so if all these three ratios are equal to each other, you can say that triangle PQR is similar to triangle XYZ by triple S test, side, side, side test of similarity. Is this clear? You have to show three sides are in proportion, okay? Not three sides are equal. So first test is triple angle. If all three, here, all three angles are congruent, then both the triangles are similar by AA test. 
Similarly, if you manage to prove any two angles are congruent to each other, you can still say that the two triangles are congruent by A A test of similarity. Then third is ang side angle side. When side angle side, you have to show that two sides are in proportion and the angle between them are equal to each other. So it becomes S A S test. And last one is triple S, SSS test. This says that three sides should be in proportion. That means these three ratios should be equal to each other. So are all these tests clear? Any doubts in any tests? No. Okay. After that, we have certain properties. So first property says that if uh, every tri every triangle is similar to itself. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABC. Okay, every triangle is similar to itself. This property is called as reflexivity property. Okay, every triangle similar to itself. First property, reflexivity. Second, is symmetry. The second property is called symmetry. What is the meaning of symmetry? If triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, then triangle PQR will be similar to ABC. Okay. If this is similar to this, then this is also similar to this. Second property, is it clear? Yes. Third property is called as transitivity property. Now, transitivity property, what it says, if triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR and triangle PQR is similar to triangle XYZ, then what happens is you can say that ABC is similar to Triangle ABC will be similar to triangle XYZ. How? It is transferring. This is but how similar. ABC is parallel, it's congruent to PQR. No, and not PQR congruent. is congruent to not uh, congruent. similar, similar, similar. No. And then PQR is similar to XYZ. So but ABC into XYZ is not similar. It will be. It will be. It will be similar. This comes from the property of this. If A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A is also equal to C. Okay, got it. Then A is also equal to C. Same thing comes in similarity. If ABC is similar to PQR, and PQ is similar to XYZ, then ABC is similar to XYZ. So this was the third property called transitivity property. I want you to write down these properties in your notebook. Just write it down first because it can come for fill in the blanks also. MCQs. Yeah, MCQs. So write down this property, reflexivity, symmetry, and transitivity.
Did you finish IT? It me out. Just kick me out. Throw me out of the meeting. What? What? What happened? Zoom just throw me out of the meeting. How? Why? What is happening? I don't know. Maybe I don't, I don't know. There's just some problem or something. It just removed me and and no. Okay. 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 Does it do that to you? No, no, I'm the host. No, maybe because of that. It oh, yeah, maybe that's why it does it to me. You can hear me? Yes, yes. Did you write down, write down this? Yes. Just one, give me one minute. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, done, done. Let's start. Let's start. Yes. So we can start with the. Uh, I'll do one example. So. Uh, let's do the first example sum itself. Solve example. So this is a question, and we have to prove. We have to state that these triangles are similar to each other by which test? Okay, by which test they are similar? So in triangle X, Y, Z, in triangle X, Y, Z, angle Y is 100 degree, angle Z is 30 degree. And in L, M, N, M is 100 degree, N is 30 degree. So we have to prove that these two triangles are similar by which test? 
the first in triangle okay without solving just by looking at it can you tell me which test okay. angle angle so side yes. angle angle no no side no there's no side no no information about the side then angle angle side yes no no why side why you want side angle, angle. No, yeah angle angle because angle y yeah, is yeah, congruent yeah. to angle m both are 100 degree and angle z is congruent to angle n both are 30 degree so two angles are enough to show that triangle xyz is similar to triangle lmn by angle angle test of similarity is this some clear yes i want you to write it down where is this sum this is on page number 18 for some but you write it Done. Okay, let's do the, we'll start the exercise straight away. Okay, 1.3. First sum, you have to identify that these two triangles are congruent, uh, sorry, similar to each other by which test? Which triangles? A, B, D. A, A, B, C. A, B, C and D, E, C. Yeah. So the information is given that this is uh, 75. So you just work. I will just work. No, I can't hear you. You're uh, there's too much of this thing vibration. What you said? You can revert it. Revert. You can just turn it. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, there's no need actually to turn. If you want, I'll make it like this. No, no, not like that. Then uh, it remains the same, but then um, that small triangle comes out of the bigger triangle, and then you turn the smaller one. Ah, oh, okay, okay, yeah, like, like that. that, yeah, like that is fine. So, okay, without uh, solving, just by looking at it, can you tell me that these two triangles, by which test will it be similar? S O S. Which S? S E S. Which are the two sides in proportion? There is one simple the same one. base, I guess. No, base is different. This is a, for the bigger triangle. And either this or this may be the base for the smaller triangle. Any one of them. 
So, so then, common base, it's there's no common base also. So then how is it? So look in triangle ABC and EDF. What is the first thing that you can see that is equal to each other in both the triangles? Angles. Angle B from ABC and, and angle, D. angle D from EDC. One more thing. Uh, okay, I'll use three letters notation. Angle A, B, C and angle E, D, C. Now, one yes. thing you see that angle A, C, B. Okay, look at A, C, B from the bigger triangle. And now you look at angle D, C, E of the smaller triangle. What is there in these two? angle something is common yes so they both will be congruent to each other and the reason you can give common angle so here common angle and here both of them are 75 degree so now can you tell me both are similar by which test two angles are enough A -A. yes so angle abc similar to angle edc by a a test of similarity. Clear now? Any doubts? Yeah. Oh, write it down. Send me the list because I'm, I'm on it. I don't know uh, what he's talking about because I'm, I'm absolutely current with the uh, people and uh, the salary processing. Just send me the list. Let me have a look. Huh. Okay. You shared the list with me. Hello, sorry, done writing. Okay. My mic, my mic was on unmute, right? Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. So that was the first one. Uh, second one, can you do the second one? SSS. Yeah, SSS, but you have to prove it also. So to for proving what you do, in triangle PQR and triangle LMN, firstly, you do PQ upon LM. So PQ is 6, LM is 3, this becomes 2. Can I do it? Yeah, complete it.
Yes. Perfect. Third one. In the third one, uh, let me take the diagram first. Okay, in this one, what is happening is, uh, as shown in the figure, two poles of height eight meters, that is AC, and four meters, that is PR, are perpendicular to the ground. Now, just saying both of them are perpendicular to the ground. If the length of the shadow of the smaller pole, so QR is the shadow of the smaller pole. So the length of the shadow of the smaller pole due to sunlight is six meters. You have to find what is the length of the shadow of the bigger pole. Is the question clear? PR and AC are two poles. PR is four meters ac is eight meters now sunlight is falling from the top okay from here sunlight is falling and due to the sunlight there is a shadow casting so shadow of the pole pr is qr which is of length six meters you have to find out what is the shadow of uh, the bigger pole that is bc have you understood the question what has to be done Yes or no? Yes, are you there? Unmute, unmute. Can you hear me? Can you there? What happened? Unmute yourself. Yes, I can't hear you. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Unmute yourself, no, unmute. Unmute, unmute.
Hello. Yeah, what happened? You got this. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me here on Zoom? Uh -huh, now I can hear you on Zoom. Hello. Yes, can you hear me on Zoom? I'm talking. Hello. Yes, hello. 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 Yeah, can you hear me? So, Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Hello. Check your chat box. Yes. Hello. Hello, I can't hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Is there any disturbance in your place? No. Then is it a then is now, it a now, noise? Now can you hear me? Can you hear me now? No. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Can you speak? I can see you. I, can hear, frozen. You. I can hear you. Okay. I cannot hear you. Okay. Leave and join. Can I join in five minutes, hello? Yeah, yes. Can I join in five minutes? Yes, yes. Okay, fine. <laughs> the spelling of minutes is wrong. Whatever, bye.
Yes, now I can see your screen and I can also can see you and I can also hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so we were doing this question. Uh, two poles at a height, one first pole is of height eight meters, second pole is of height four meters. Now, as sunlight is falling from the top, uh, the poles are forming a shadow. Now, QR is the shadow of the smaller pole and the length of the shadow is six meters. You have to find out the length of the shadow of the bigger pole that is BC. Okay, and it is said that the poles are perpendicular to the ground. That means these are 90 degree. So in triangle PRQ and triangle ACB, angle PRQ will be congruent to angle ACB. Why? Because both are 90 degree. As it is given in the question, they are perpendicular to the ground. Is this clear? Yes? Yes. Now, sunlight is falling from the top. Now, because of Can that... You, uh... hmm? No, nothing. Now, sunlight is falling, sun rays are falling from the top. That means the sun rays hit the point A and point B at the same time. Okay, the rays of sun, it touches point A and point B at the same time. And because of that, the angle which will be formed at point P and point A will also be the same. That means you can say that angle Q, P, R will be equal to angle B, A, C. Well, what is the reason? You can give the reason sunlight or sun rays touches point P and A at the same time. Okay, so these two angles are congruent to each other. Now, since two angles are congruent, you manage to prove that two angles are congruent. These two triangles will be similar by which test? Which test? By which test? Can you unmute yourself? By which test will it be? By which test will it be congruent to each other? Hello. Yes. I have to write this. I'm asking you by which test will it be congruent to each other? I can't hear you only. That is what I was going to tell you earlier also. Your voice is breaking in the middle. Like... If you're saying something and then in the middle it'll stop and then it'll continue. So what you said in the middle, I don't want to know. Okay. So are you having internet this issues? Is, oh, no, I don't think so. Okay, fine. So this is uh, by the hypotenuse RHS test? No. But it is from the RHS test. RHS? Both are 90 degrees. What is right, R? Right angle, hypotenuse, and side are adjusted. Yes. We had this in our ninth. But in this uh, sum, we have shown that two angles are equal to each other. 
So when you prove two angles are equal to each other, they'll be congruent by which test. Yes, but why yeah. did you do so much if you could show RHS simply? In three sentences, you could finish this. For, for RHS, and I finished it in two. How? I just finished showed. One, two, three, four, I five. Just, I five. just showed. I just showed that two angles are equal. So they are similar by AA test. This is the reason that I've written. These sums come for how many marks? Two marks. Oh, okay. Fine. I'll write this down. Okay, but this sum is not over. They are congruent, by, similar by AA test. Now, since they are similar, since they are similar, their sides are in proportion. So you have PR upon AC equal to RQ upon CB equal to PQ upon AB. Okay. You have to find the value of X. Substitute. PR is 4. AC is X. No, sorry. AC is... Uh, oh, yeah. What is AC? You just go up. It's just like so... Eight. AC eight. is 8. RQ, RQ is, is 6. And CB and is X. X. Okay, no need to write this. We don't need this. Cross multiply here. 4X so, yeah. equals to 40. Or eight. you can directly do X is equal to 6 into 8 upon 4. Okay, 6 into 8 divided by 4. So cancellation, 4, 2 is 8. So X is 6 into 2, 12. 12 meters. Therefore, you can say the length of the shadow of the bigger pole is 12 meters. Of the bigger pole is 12 meters. Did you understand this? Yes. Yes. Can you just, uh, can you, no. One Write second. it down. Yeah. Can you close the door while you're going also? Thank you. Every time I have a Put it back in Zola. What is wrong with you? Close the door when
Just give me one second, I'll be back. And now close the door where you're going. Bye. Sorry. You heard all of that. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Did you finish writing? No, no. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm almost uh, in the last line. I will be coming in two minutes. Just give me two minutes.
Yeah, done everything, done writing and done the work. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, three, four, five, six. I think from here some sums are deleted now. Let's check. Which, uh, what page number? 22. Uh, 22, 22, 22, 22. Nothing is cancelled. All nine sums are there. Okay. In my book, I've not cancelled. Huh? In your book, you see what is there. Uh, no. Fine. Okay, so we'll stop here. I want you to do the theorem. Theorem. First theorem and question number four and five. Uh, four and six. Four and six, I want you to try some. Okay. Four and six. Four and six. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye.